Hello everybody, Nils Sono over here again. Today we are going to do a requested video of a gel ombre or baby boomers. Uh, yeah, and this is kind of the result. And I started with some ready sculpted tips. And I'm just taking a regular builder gel on my pointer and ring finger because on those two I'm just going to do an yeah a strengthen and overlay and a build up. So I put a primer on and a blob of this builder gel to build it up build up the apex and build up the strength it was quite runny this gel so i had to use the gravity flip the nail upside down and clean around the edges before i cure it and as you can see i'm still using the brush to shape it and after i cured it it's still flatter than the other nails on the other hand, so I'm taking another layer to elevate the stress point a little bit more. So here it is, it, they are pretty much the same. And I'm going to do the same on my pinky and on my middle fingers I'm going to do this ombre. So I primed it and put the base gel on them and I'm using a, a, a pink builder gel from ended.com it's a rose antique pink cannot get it outside of Europe sorry but I'm also going to use this as a builder gel so that is why I'm making a lot of mess <laughs> because I'm trying to do two things at the same at one at the same time sorry and the clue to all of this is to use this brush here you take a brush a neural rolled and clip it apart and you make it thinner and you make it almost like a fork you can or like yeah it, it has the shape of a fork as you can see here I'm using my fork brush again so it has it hasn't taken that much gel and brush up against oh I said it all wrong sorry but you saw what I did so I cure that and another layer of the pink And when I go come through to the middle, I'm using my brush again, or the cleanup first. And then I'm going to use my brush and brush down and feather it over the white again. So you kind of, for each step, you get closer to the perfect blend. Securing so that again. I have no idea why I put another layer of white on. Uh, this nail was got way too much higher than I wanted or bigger. So I just had to file it down again, but <laughs> you will see soon <laughs> at the end. So here I'm taking a paler and almost see through pink gel builder gel pink builder gel so um, yeah it it it, um, it softened the nails a bit and I cured it and I also put a builder gel on top of that I could only have done a thin coat of builder gel or just a top coat I have no idea where why I put so much builder gel on top 
but I did so I just had to file it all down again but I still had some top coat there so curing it and this is how it looked and wiping off it the tacky layer and these are uh, this is the result before I before I filed it and this is the result after I filed my nails and I'm using Madame Glam's spring petals on my pointer finger and my ring little finger pinky and this is the second layer and cleaning up my mess or else it will harden in the lamp you will get really not that nice edges with that mess around and I am using Cani Gel Flesh Tender Pink I love this lines of Cani Gels Sparkly Gels that's the name of the line so I'm taking one on I might have taken two layers of it I'm not sure but it gives it a nice holograph almost holographic or at least sparkly texture so so that was actually the ombre mm, video over and I had this design for about a week with the top coat on and I really loved it but then I had to do go on and try to do something else <laughs> so I took this glass rod or glass brush as I call it and I made some gel lines I did this design back in December I saw some girls that had done something similar, so I had to try it out. Uh, I should have stopped there, but I put another layer on, as you can see. I'm flush curing as I go for every line that I put down. So the nail ended up being way too fat. For my taste, so over to the base gel. So I get some adhesion for the um, bling that I'm going to put on. Just some rhinestones and some beads and glass beads and silver beads. And I encapsulate it all in just Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Gel. And clean around the edges before I cured it. And then I'm putting on some glue on my pinky. And I lay everything in all my crystal beads or stone beads into this tray. Put on some glue and dip my nail into it and try to make it look nice. <laughs> I will say that this design is not the best that I have done, um, but I, yeah, I wanted to show you what I did anyway, so you can make up your mind. So here I put down some stone and almost look with some silver beads around them and it almost looks like a necklace. This one I liked actually. And I absolutely had to try some. <laughs> if that wasn't enough I also tried to do some stamping. So I ended up with this design, this is the Born Pretty Store plate and my Galaxy Creative Shop Stamper, but 
I thought that the lines were too thin and wobbly, so I ended up with um, Madame Glam's 3G gel that I went over with a thin liner brush. So um, this was the result that I come up with. And yeah, I like the basic result a lot more. This result was a lot better. But um, if you liked anyone, anything of this, give it a, give it a comment. Tell me what you liked or, didn't, or disliked and give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't done it and um, I will be back later with some other nail videos. See you again soon everybody. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.